Hello all and welcome to TVM Academy. My name is Parikh Jain and this is VARC 100, a free practice course for CAT verbal section. RC number 46, as usual, the RC was shared on our Telegram group. It was also shared on our portal, the links to which are available in the description box of this video. Let's begin RC number 46. A quick synopsis of the passage first. So in the first paragraph, author tells us that prior to 1975, serious efforts to unionize clerical workers were limited to cities with large number of employees, large number of workers, or to cities with other unions trying to gain power. Also, clerical workers, especially women clerical workers, were not very receptive to these efforts either. That's what the author tells us. In the second paragraph, it tells us since mid 1970s, however, the percentage of unionized public sector clerical workers has increased. It has been on a rise. And in the third paragraph, he explains the reasons for the same. Number one, uh, more women are entering the workforce and they have an increased need for job security. That is why they think it better to be part of a union. That's one reason. Second, uh, the workers attitude towards the uh, unions has also become positive and third most important reason or that identifies is that uh, these unions have also changed their strategy and their policies today are more women centered or women sensitive that is why uh, you know clerical workers a major part of which are women want to become part of a union today so since mid 1970s the number of or the rather the percentage of uh, uh, women clerical workers who are part of a union has increased okay question number one according to the passage the public sector workers who were least likely to stay unorganized there's a double negative here least likely to stay unorganized means most likely in this case it means most likely to become organized least likely to stay unorganized means most likely to become organized which means most likely to become a part of a union so the public sector workers who were most likely to become part of a union were who? Okay, let's see. In 1977. So second paragraph talks about it. In 1977, 34% clerical workers, 46% government professionals, 44% blue collar workers and 41% service workers uh, were represented by a labor organization or they were part of a labor union. So who are the most likely among these who are the most likely to become organized or to be part of a union? 46% government professionals. So professionals is our answer. Option A. Uh, it was a tricky question because of the double negative word. Least likely to stay unorganized. And uh, CAT is known for such questions. Okay? Uh, double negatives, triple negatives, sometimes except also you see a lot in, in, in a lot of questions you see except. So be careful. Question two, author cites union efforts okay, to achieve a fully unionized workforce in order to account for why, okay, let's see. In the first paragraph he says, uh, the multi-occupational labor unions would often try to organize the clerical workers regardless of their receptivity, their initial receptivity. So even if the clerical workers were not receptive to becoming part of an organization, to become uh, to becoming part of a union, these unions would often try to make them a part. Okay. And the reasoning was that, so this is our answer. This is what the question asks us to identify. What was the reasoning? Why? Okay. The reasoning was that Politicians and administrators might play off unionized against non-unionized workers. That's one reason. And second, that a fully unionized public workforce meant power. It meant power. Okay. So basically, uh, author gives us these two reasons 
why they tried to make them part of their unions even when they did not want to or even when they were unreceptive to the idea okay option a politicians might try to oppose public sector union organizing there is no talk of politicians opposition if at all author says that unions reasoned that politicians might play off unionized workers against non unionized workers they might pit them against each other but politicians might not oppose the idea of unionization okay so this is uh, factually incorrect option b why public sector unions have recently focused on organizing women this is clearly not written in the first paragraph this is not why author explains their attempts option c early organizing efforts often focus on areas where there were large number of workers this is only a fact which is irrelevant to the question however the question's demand is not met by this answer choice uh author describes their efforts unions efforts to make clerical workers part of themselves in order to explain in order to account for why uh, you know they would benefit or how they would benefit rather than uh, what their focus was so this is irrelevant to the question does not meet the question's demand okay option d why unions sometimes try to organize workers regardless of their interest initial interest exactly what we just read option d is the correct answer so he explains these two reasons to account for why they tried to make them part of unions despite their uh, non receptivity question 3 authors claim that since the mid 1970s a new strategy has emerged in the unionization of public sector clerical workers would be strengthened his claim would be strengthened if the author were to do what please note cr question answer would not be found it might not be found in the passage in all likelihood uh, we will have to uh, you know apply what we have learned from the passage to a hypothetical situation options are going to be hypothetical they are not going to be drawn from the passage it's a cr question critical reasoning question so authors claim that a new strategy has emerged since mid 1970s would be strengthened if what okay let's see it's a logic based question option a if author described more fully the attitudes of clerical workers towards labor unions now how their attitude has changed a further description or a detailed description of attitudinal change would not mean a new strategy has emerged so we are talking about a strategic change rather than an attitudinal change this is clearly out option b if author compared the organizing strategies employed by private sector unions with those of public sector now this is irrelevant comparison between public and private sector is irrelevant to author's argument author only says that since mid uh, since mid 1970s their strategy to unionize the public sector clerical workers has changed a very spe specific subset of workers so prior to 1970 they had a different strategy after 1970s they had a different strategy so it's past versus present past versus present strategy rather than public sector strategy versus private sector strategy so option b is clearly out c uh, if author explained why politicians and administrators sometimes oppose unionization of the workers again there a new strategy has emerged this claim does not get strengthened by this explanation at all so it is again irrelevant if author showed that the factors that favored unionization among these workers prior to 1975 have decreased in importance ah so this is a comparison between prior to 1975 and after 1975 the factors which favored unionization before 1975 have decreased in importance would imply that there are some other factors which have become more important or in other words a new strategy has taken place a new strategy has shaped option d is the correct answer okay question 4 according to the passage in the period prior to 1975 each of the following considerations help to determine whether a union would attempt to organize a certain group of clerical workers except so three of the given factors uh were considerations uh, uh which help 
determine whether a union would attempt to organize a certain group of workers or not okay three of the factors what are they clearly written in the first paragraph the number of clerical workers in that group was an important factor if the numbers were large they would attempt so number number of workers was an was a factor whether the clerical workers in that area were concentrated in one workplace or scattered over several workplaces option c is also mentioned as a factor example of hospital whether there was a concentration of small numbers in one or two locations which made it relatively easy or were they scattered so that was also a factor okay the degree to which the clerical workers were interested in unionization last line of the same paragraph says that in localities where clerical workers were few in number they were scattered and they expressed no interest the unions ignored them which means that this was also a factor whether they were interested or not was also a factor whether they would try to make them part okay so what was not a factor the number of women among the clerical workers the unions did not make their decision on the basis of gender of the clerical workers the number of women workers uh, in that cadre therefore option b is not mentioned anywhere in the passage question 5 main concern of the passage is what to advocate a particular strategy author is not advocating anything he is not suggesting anything alien idea beyond the scope of the passage option b to explain differences in the unionized proportions of various groups of public sector workers is the author explaining the difference in the unionized proportions only or is he explaining why the the percentage of unionized clerical workers has increased earlier clerical workers did not want to be part of union now they are so the increase in the percentage of clerical workers who are part of unions that is what he is explaining and not simply uh, the the distinction between or the differences in the percentages of unionized workers uh, clerical workers blue collar workers professional workers that's not the main focus of the passage okay that's only a minor uh, part of discussion in the second paragraph okay option c to evaluate the effectiveness of certain kinds of labor unions clearly beyond the scope is not making any judgment or value assessment of uh, the different kinds of labor unions okay option d to analyze and explain an increase in unionization among a certain category of workers which is clearly clerical workers public sector clerical workers okay option d is the correct answer an easy to moderate level of passage i hope you got all of them right guys don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more such videos also share word about tvm academy to make our effort worth the while thank you very much cheers to all